Hello everyone, welcome to MLT Lectures. In this video, we will talk about microscope. Here we include what is microscope, parts of microscope, types, how to use microscope and care and handling. Before moving towards the video, please like and subscribe the channel. Now, here microscope is made up of two words, that is micro and scope, where micro means small and scope means to view. Microscope is an optical instrument that magnifies the image of an object that are invisible to our naked eyes. Now moving towards parts of microscope, it consists of eyepiece, body tube, arm, revolving nose piece, stage, stage clip, diaphragm, coarse adjustment knob, fine adjustment knob, light source and base. This is the basic parts of compound microscope. Now we will look one by one in detail. First one is the eyepiece. It allows to view the image and contains ocular lens. The ocular lens is usually 10x. Then is the body tube. It is the optical part between the eyepiece and the nearest objective lens. Revolving nose piece. It holds the objective lens and can be rotated. Objectives commonly used are 10x, 40x, 100x. 100x also known as oil immersion lens. Then is the stage which holds the slide that is being viewed. It also have a stage clip that supports the slide. Then arm which is used to support microscope while carrying. Then course adjustment knob, it is used to move stage up and down to help you get the specimen view. Fine adjustment knob, it helps to sharpen the specimen after it is viewed from course adjustment knob. Then is the diaphragm which helps to adjust the amount of light reaching the specimen. Light source, it projects the light upwards towards the stage. Then is the base, last one, the bottom part of the microscope which allow to remain stable. Now moving to types of microscope, we can see commonly five types of microscope which include, first one is light microscope also called as bright field microscope it is the most frequent microscope used in labs dark field microscope second one it is used to identify living unstained cells and bacteria like spirochetes third one is face contrast microscope it is used to study microbial motility and determining the shape of living cells. It helps in detecting bacterial components such as endospore. Fluorescence microscope, it contains fluorocom. It is used to detect malaria by QVC method or to detect antibody and antigens. Then fifth one is the Electron microscope. It was invented by Ernest Ruska in 1931. It has more than 10,000x magnification power, so reveals the real structure of smaller objects. Now we will learn to determine the magnification power of a particular microscope. Here we have a formula that power of eyepiece multiplied by power of objective is 
equal to final magnification. Now we will look after one example. If we have 40x objective and 10x eyepiece, what will be the magnification power of the microscope? We already know the formula power of eyepiece into power of objective is the final magnification. Here power of eyepiece is 10x and power of object is 40x. So 10x multiplied by 40x equals to 400x. The final magnification of a particular microscope is 400. Now how to use microscope? We should be very gentle while using the microscope. First, place the microscope on the table with the arm facing towards your body. Make sure that the low power is in position over the stage. Then rotate the diaphragm to get the optimum light. After this, place the slide on the stage. Focus on your specimen by moving course adjustment knob slowly. Rotate the nose piece so the medium power is in position. Then use fine adjustment to sharpen. Again rotate the nose piece so high power is in position. Then use fine adjustment. When you are finished with the microscope, don't forget to return to the low power objective and then only remove the slide. Now handling and care of microscope. Microscope should be carried with two hands always. One hand holding the arm and another hand supporting the base. Cover when not in use. Microscope must be stored in clean and dry place. Only use special lens paper or wipes for cleaning the lens. Perform an annual maintenance check. Thank you. Hope you like the content. Please like and subscribe the channel for more videos.